more than 300 members. So we've just had our second meeting of HSJ Women Leaders and we have decided that we would like to build a consensus about the targets or measures that we would like to see put in place. It's strange to think that we have all-male shortlists when women are 77% of the NHS workforce. So I would say, what is going on when you've only got men on there? Women all too often know that they could probably do it, but don't like to put themselves forward. And I think it's just having those honest conversations about how we can progress their careers that will really help people to develop themselves and realise that they have got that potential. Should there be mandatory women and men on shortlists? I absolutely think so. I think if we don't have shortlists from which we say we're going for equality 50-50 in terms of candidates, that we won't make any progress. I think one of the things we have to do is encourage more women to go for more senior roles almost before they feel ready. You have to have reporting which is public, which assists greatly because it brings transparency and that brings inclusion by people knowing what other people are doing and it also brings a certain element of competition, healthy competition between different structures. I used to think, no, we don't need quotas. But actually, we should learn a lot from places like Norway and Sweden, where they've done that. They've brought in a quota and it's made a huge difference. A lot of our senior leadership jobs um, now are not attractive to women or indeed to men. And we need to find ways to make jobs attractive to both men and women that are flexible and actually to help people remember what they came into the, work, into the job to do in the first place, which is to make a difference to patients. At an organisational level, I think organisations themselves can do a lot to look at their numbers on their boards and put in HR processes that allow women to succeed. So HSJ Women Leaders is all about celebrating female senior leadership talent and encouraging it. And so we want to, by March, set out exactly what our vision is and what we want to champion and what we want to um, push for.